Turn to me and have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am alone and poor. See my lowliness and suffering and take away all my sins, my God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Boniface, the Apostle to Germany in the 700s. And so as we come together to celebrate our communion, so come together to celebrate our church, we first call to mind our sins, and we turn to God and ask for his forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the martyr St. Boniface be our advocate, O Lord, that we may firmly hold the faith he taught with his lips and sealed in his blood and confidently profess it by our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. You have followed my teaching, way of life, purpose, faith, patience, love, endurance, persecutions, and sufferings, such as happened to me in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra, persecutions that I endured. Yet from all these things the Lord delivered me, In fact, all who want to live religiously in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. But wicked people and charlatans will go from bad to worse, deceivers and deceived. But you remain faithful to what you have learned and believed, because you know from whom you learned it, and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures, which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refutation, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped for every good work. The Word of the Lord. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Through my persecutors and my foes are many, I turn not away from your decrees. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Permanence is your word's chief trait. Each of your just ordinances is everlasting. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Those who love your law have great peace, and for them there is no stumbling block. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. I wait for your salvation, O Lord, and your commandments I fulfill. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. I keep your precepts and your decrees, for all my ways are before you. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Alleluia, alleluia. 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 
Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was teaching in the temple area, he said, How do the scribes claim that the Christ is the son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord. So how is he his son? The great crowd heard this with delight. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. All who want to live religiously in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. That's awful. We don't want that. We want peaceful days. We have found our peace and love in Jesus. And we we fight to find that contentment and we find it. And we don't want there to be persecution. This leads into uh, St. Boniface. St. Boniface is from England. And he was a monk and eventually felt the call and received the summons to go into the area of Germany now. And he was made a bishop and, and preached the gospel and set up monasteries and went around. Um, famous for trying to root out superstition, there was a, a tree that had uh, a lot of significance for pagan beliefs. So he had the tree chopped down and burned, um, which makes people very angry. In the end, he himself, as a very old man, suffers martyrdom for the faith. And so that's why we wear red. For all who want to live religiously in Jesus, they will be persecuted. Part of that comfort comes from it will not just always be peaceful days, but that in the face of where we go, today is also First Friday, that wherever we go, we have also been washed in the blood of the Sacred Heart, that climbing into the Sacred Heart back into the womb of comfort, that we can always find our peace in Jesus, the divine mercy. And so as we go through each day, as we go through this day, whatever we face, we know that we have the strength of God. Whatever we face, we know that we have a place that we have found peace. And wherever we go and whatever we face, we can take that peace with us. I don't always feel this way. I don't always remember that I carry this mercy within me. And so in facing persecution and misunderstanding, my life is all riled up. My life is all disturbed. And it takes time to come back to peace again. But in the end and later, I can always look back and see how God has brought me through the times That yes, there's persecution, but above that is mercy and peace and love. And if just once in our lives, in the face of persecution, we can share that mercy we have experienced, we can be a true apostle as well, and we can spread the same message of love. And one person at a time, transform, transform the world so that the kingdom of God can truly be the place with no more persecution, no more hatred, but simply love and mutual service. And let us now turn to the Father with confidence as we present all of our prayers and petitions.
that the church may be filled with the knowledge of God's will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. That the Lord may grant all nations prudent and compassionate leaders who strive to work together for the good of all. Let us pray to the Lord. That those who suffer for the sake of the gospel may find consolation in God's promises. Let us pray to the Lord. That we who gather around the Lord's table today may receive the grace of God's call to a deeper sense of holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. That those who have died may share in God's gift of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. And for the people of the parish, the intention of this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God, you sent your Son to bring us life. Hear the prayers we place before you today. We ask this all through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him, has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Boniface, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
for those of you physically unable to receive the Eucharist, you can still receive the fullness of the graces of the Blessed Sacrament by making a spiritual communion. To make your spiritual communion, please repeat after me this prayer written by St. Alphonsus Liguori. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. To you I call, for you will surely heed me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my words. Let us pray. Governed by your spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The, I think there's a pile over here, but in the back too. Um, those that were subscribing to the Give Us This Day Missal, they, they are in. But we also um, switched to the one that we got a free trial this past fall, we decided to order a certain number and pay for them out of our uh, religious education fund. And those are for anyone to take the, 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 the thinner paper ones uh, for, are for anyone to be able to take. And if you ever want to uh, throw in one extra dollar a month for them, that'd be great. But we're offering them so that people can continue to Pray and receive, and if you're visiting the sick or elderly, take them with you. Uh, this weekend, again, Mass is at 4, 9, and 11, and whichever Mass you would like to come to, feel free. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.